Track storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3. Weather coverage you can count on. Thanks for joining us. We're now joined by Storm Team 3 meteorologist Travis Clark Smith. And Travis, it wouldn't really be a Midwest summer without some of the rain, but hopefully we can get an extended break away from the rain. Oh, Sananda, you are going to love this forecast then because we are looking at a nice stretch of several hopefully rain free days. Now it is the summertime, so with the heat and humidity of the day, of course, you do have the chance for some isolated pop up thunderstorms. And we do have a few scattered thunderstorms, especially over North Iowa. And you can see those towering cumulus clouds on our Rochester Live Eye, where in Rochester, currently partly cloudy skies, the sun is shining through the clouds, 78 degrees, winds out of the west southwest at eight miles per hour. And moving to Mason City, you see a storm moving in from the west. And because of the storm that moved through earlier, it's a little bit cooler at 71 degrees. Degrees. Now this storm that is going to be passing through Mason City here shortly did clock a 42 mile per hour wind gust in Garner. So there is a little bit of strength to this storm, not severe by any means, but you want to watch out for those gusty winds, maybe some small hail and of course that lightning. If you hear the thunder roar, head indoors and we're, you can see that here on the radar as we have the storms just west of Mason City making their way over I-35 in the next few minutes. Now again, these storms are not severe, but they could have a little bit of a punch to them with the wind and some small hail. So if you do see those storms moving your way, head inside for just a little while as they pass through. Now the other storm that we're looking at is a tropical storm barrel that is churning just to the east of the of the of Texas and as we go through the night we are looking at some strengthening back to a category 1 hurricane before it makes landfall right after midnight with 85 mile per hour winds and as we go through the next several days, it will be quickly passing through the continental United States. We'll be missing our area, but we might be able to see some clouds from the tropical storm in the next few days. Now for tonight, those storms will pass through over North Iowa and then we will clear out a little fog in the morning, but by about 10 o'clock in the morning that will disappear and we're looking at a nice day for your Monday with a few chances for some pop up showers and thunderstorms. And this is actually going to be the best chance of rain that we're looking at for the next several days. More on that coming up in the seven day forecast. But as you see, we go through Tuesday looking really good. The sun is going to be shining. We've got a great week ahead. So if you want to get out there and get that yard work done, like I definitely need to get done, tomorrow might not be the best day for it because we've got those rain chances. But Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday looking perfect for some yard work. For tonight, 61 degrees with those thunderstorms early on. Winds out of the southwest around 10 to 15 miles per hour. For tomorrow, another chance of thunderstorms warming up to 79 degrees with winds out of the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. But Sananda, take a look at this seven day forecast where that weekend is always in view. Warming up through the week, it's going to be pretty hot by this time next weekend, but sunny skies and just very, very slight chances of rain.